You guys are set for drinks, so I'll give you a minute with the menus and, oh, our specials tonight, if you're interested. Then. Oh, I'm extremely interested. Oh, yes, yeah, she was. Mm -hmm. And it turned out to be Samantha's longest relationship to date on Sex and the City. Sadly, it wasn't meant to be, though. Yeah, but with constant rumors of a third film with Jason Lewis, a.k.a. Smith Jared, be down for a possible reunion with his longtime love. I tell you what, I am a huge fan of the people who created that. I pretty much would take out the garbage for them if they asked. So it's a yes for Jason, but until then, he's back to rocking long locks and taking up residence in Midnight, Texas, premiering tonight on NBC. If you come to Midnight with an open heart, you're welcome. You come in to make people small or take from us, we'll throw you out, if not worse. What are you exactly? Vampires, one word for it. <laughs> The locals of Midnight are some seriously scary characters. Blindspot alum Francois Arnaud plays a psychic who moves there on the advice of his dead grandma. What's so funny? Usually I'm the freak in the room. I think it's, it's actually quite beautiful to see people, very powerful people who decide to join forces, create a community, a place where they can feel, where, where it's good to be different. Midnight exists in between the worlds of the living and the dead, with a population of vampires, witches, and assorted sketchy folks. Midnight is a safe place for everyone, and I think that the special part about it is these different characters go there to be safe. Did you poison our new neighbor? What we find out as the season goes on is actually they're not safe at all, and in order to be safe again, they've got to not only protect one another, but protect all of humanity, which is quite a lot to bear. <laughs> <laughs>